You think you got a double? My little sister keeps bugging me. All she can think about friends is the last month and it's driving me out of my mind. I heard that. And don't pretend you don't look forward to Christmas every year. I saw you dropping hints for mom and dad. You want a 10 speed bike? A level one makeup kit and a manicure for your nails. You are just that excited about Christmas as I am. <coughs> I look for, forward to Christmas, not because we get presents. I like Christmas for a deeper, more meaningful reason. I like Christmas because Mom makes cookies, candies, and the house is decorated with twinkling lights, and the tree has lights and tinsel. Oh, that's really deep and spiritual. Wouldn't it be great if we have Christmas every day of the year? Be careful what you wish for. If you did have Christmas every day of the year for your selfish reasons, you'd get sick to your stomach. soon get tired of all the noise and excitement, and soon Christmas would lose all of its meaning. But your idea is intriguing. What would it be like if we had Christmas 365 days of every year? Idea. Hey Angel, could you help us make this dream come true? I think you are starting to realize what God wants us to have. The feeling of love in our hearts every hour of every day. So before we go, we want you to understand what it would be like if we were to have Christmas 365 days a year. Now let's start with spray time. This idea is growing on me. I mean it rains. The buds blossom, and kids play baseball, and they get spring fever. Do you think the spirit of Christmas could compete with all that? Sure, Angel. The joy that the Lord brings would just help spring be a more springy, and we could even sing some of the old Christmas carols. Only change the world a little.
the way I see it, the real problem is summertime. I mean, honestly, how can you work Christmas into the hot months of June, July, and August? How are Santa and his reindeer going to get here? On a surfboard? <laughs> now, wait a minute. First, Christ is born in a hot desert land, so weather is no problem. Well, it's been very special, you know, especially baseball. Many of us Asians are baseball fans. <laughs> Angel, I don't, I don't remember baseball being mentioned in, in the Bible. Don't you remember the verse that says, in the big inning, God created heaven and earth? <laughs> and we know they played tennis in the Old Testament because Moses served in Pharaoh's court. <laughs> Well, let's leave it up to the kids. Hey gang, could we have Christmas in the hot summer months of summer? Yeah. 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 And just think about it. We can give people the gifts of ourselves, and it won't cost us a cent. And really love them, it won't cost us a cent. Oh. Just think, we can give people the cost, 
the gift of welcoming them, and it won't cost us the sun. It won't cost us the sun. It seems like only one question remains. Can we celebrate Christmas in the fall and winter months? After all, everybody is wrapped up in football, turkey for Thanksgiving, pumpkin pie, cranberry sauce, stuffing, mashed potatoes, gravy, and... Before you drool all over your costume, let's give some serious thought about winning Christmas in the fall and winter. That's a good point. We'll ask them. Hello, hello. You in the congregation, will you please stand to your feet? Yes, please stand up. We'd like you to we'd like to have you join us in a covenant, a spiritual promise that you will try to have the spirit of Christmas all year long. Respond with I do. I do. Will you promise to Ask Jesus to help you have the true spirit of Christmas 365 days in each year. Respond with, I do. I do. You may sit back down. 